What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Tamer News. A lot of my supporters been in my DMs for a while now. Vina, why did you stop posting about Porsche and Simon? You know, why are you <laughs> not getting in the mix? It's a never ending hot mess. And in as much as it's an amazing thing, if you are a YouTuber and you need content, because they just so easily provide you the content, it gets to the point where it becomes repetitive and it's like, team too much, I'm done, I can't do no more. Also, I've seen people who's dating someone, engaged to someone who's a celebrity, okay, defending themselves when the hate comes their way. But this is man who's worth millions of dollars according to him who have all of these businesses and employees and things to delegate to this person and that person, that person, but they spend so much time on social media, writing these dissertations, clapping back, all in the comments, responding to almost every single person. Others caught it, you know, and got my drift. But we live in a day and age where people normally don't catch things and you have to explain yourself and then it takes away from the whole point of the reason why you said it the way you said it in the first place. The whole point of what I just said was to say he doesn't have all of that because if he did, he wouldn't have time to be on social media, in the comments, clapping back at anybody and anything. There's nothing wrong with defending yourself, responding, speaking out. So Jalen came for him. He wants to clap back. Great. I'm talking about the every day, every topic. He have to clap back, respond, put people in check. You don't get tired. <laughs> My whole point is he's not as busy as he claims he is to have all this time. And it's not like this is an assistant doing this for him and he's paying somebody. This is him. Oh, Lord. I'm just trying to get caught up. Honestly. So here I am completing the video on Fallon because the last video I did, I talked about Jalen Fallon fiance, okay, clapping back at Simon due to Simon hypocrisy when he posted about black men respecting the mothers of their children. And even though it had nothing to do with Jalen, Jalen clapped back because he saw how Simon treated Fallon, okay, firsthand. And he also is dealing with the aftermath now that Fallon is healing. I'm not going to go into details. If you missed that video, click the very first link in the description below and watch that video. I broke it down. Okay. In the midst of Jalen clapping back, it's on the screen. Simon clapped back. Okay. In Jalen's first response, he wrote, now come on, let's be real. You know you caused mental pain to Fallon, your ex-wife, publicly and privately. Something I never commented on out of respect for Fallon. You have no room to speak. She is still healing from trauma to this day. You should think about that before addressing a message towards black men. Nowhere in that response did Jillian say anything about his kids, his children, nothing. He kept it about him and Simon and Fallon, the adults. You can't control how someone clap back when something has nothing to do with you and you decided to jump in the mix, okay? So Simon, that was free game. Clap back however you want. Then in Simon, clap back. He mentioned their child. He brought up the two of them cheating and then had a child and then had the nerve to say he's the reason why the child is being taken care of financially. At that point, all bets are off. Your fiance went on interviews, Portia, sending congratulations on her daughter and all of that. Okay, cool. She was being petty, but cool. Now here you are saying that the reason why their child have some milk or <laughs> whatever the child have right now, diapers, pimpers, is because of you. They can't afford to take care of their own child. That's basically what you are saying, Simon. So at that point, all bets 
were off. But in Jalen's second response, he mentions Simon's child. This is where it gets petty. They are going back and forth. Billy says, let's get one thing straight. My child is good over here. Nobody is living off your little chump change. If you really want to get down the facts, oh yeah, did you forget that it was your child's birthday yesterday because you sure as bleep wasn't at his party last night but was getting a whole female name tatted on you? I must stop playing with me because I really can start embarrassing you. We didn't learn a lesson. Who was supposed to teach us a lesson? I had more to say about that in that video. Click the very first link in the description below. Simon did not post his son on his birthday. I get it. His son wasn't with him. He wanted to post recent and current images with his child. He did not want to post an old picture because he already knew people would have been like, why are you posting an old picture? Why are you not with him? But people post pictures of their kids all the time. Normally when you post your kid's birthday, what people normally do since Instagram now allow you to swipe up to 10, okay, slides. They post the baby pictures and they post all the way up to present time, present day. Simon could have still gotten away with just simply posting his child on his actual birthday. Simon did not post his son at all. Do I care? No. Is it relevant? Yes, because it brought us here right now. He gets his son back and now he posted, Happy birthday to my son, Christian, who turned 12 years old this past Sunday. Just posting him today. Cool. Like I said, he wanted a current picture. Of course, people got in his comments and were like, okay, it shouldn't take Jalen saying something for you to want to now post your son in a caption. I'm sure Simon would have posted his child whether Jalen said anything or not. But that's what is given in this social media and you know people will be petty and have things to say. So let's get into these comments and Simon responses. Happy birthday this person wrote. Question. Would you have posted this <laughs> dissertation? See? She's feeling me. I'm all here for motivation and all that good stuff. Don't worry. Instagram will eventually give you the blue check, okay? The blue check is coming. Whoever Porsche know over there isn't working quick enough, you will get your blue check. You don't have to write these long books every day. So the person wrote, Happy birthday, my question. Would you have posted this dissertation if your child's birthday wasn't mentioned by other bloggers? I don't get it. Why do you feed into the drama? If you and Portia are going to be together, let this crazy stuff go. It's making you and your future wife look horrible. Be the bigger person. So I'm going to respond it. Of course, you know he's going to respond. I mean, this is the first millionaire to have all this time. This is him. This is not no assistant clapping back for him. This is Simon. Please do not insult. He meant your, you know, when you get upset, you, you know, you miss letters, words, whatever. Please do not insult your own intelligence. Go back to my posting dating back to 2012. You would see I acknowledge my children on their birthdays, special occasions, trips, and accomplishments. Do you have any kids? Do you acknowledge them? If you did, I doubt very much you'll come on my page to spew ignorance, do better. And like I said, I'm fair. He did not want to post older images. He wanted to post current pictures. He did not have his child and that's the reason why he was waiting to get his son back to then post pictures. Happy birthday. Is this the one? Okay. Whoa. Party buddy said you missed. Great dad move. Miss a day. Spoil you all week. Okay. He responded. My son's birthday fell on my co-parents time. Christian's mother. 
We oftentimes have multiple birthday celebrations for our children, depending on our co-parenting arrangement or abiding by our court ordered parenting plan. Okay. You don't have to post nothing. It's your page. It's your child. It's your life. I'm just saying when you continue to feed into the negativity and social media, then you are basically telling them it's okay. They're welcome. Because now you've made some of these people comfortable enough to think they can come at you sideways because you acknowledge them. No one is saying don't defend yourself. Absolutely. Every now and again, defend yourself. But what you're doing with constantly clapping back at just any and everyone is basically letting them know that they are getting to you. They are getting on your skin and all they have to do is come to your page and leave some silly comments. And you, Mr. Multi-Millionaire, is going to leave all of your 150 jobs and employees and important things you got going on and clap back at anybody because you have all this time. So yes, of course, it looks like, oh. Jalen called you out because you spoke on his child and now here comes the post. But this is the video I was actually working on before all of this happened. And I'm going to put it in here. I'm not doing no separate videos. I'm putting everything in here because I still have three other videos about the fight and everything else that I didn't even get to yet. Because every time I try, here comes Simon and Portia chat. <laughs> I'm not completely. I'm just like, whoo. Now I see why I jumped off this whole let's post about Cyber the Porsche because it is never ending. It's team too much. But what I was working on was basically the video that I keep referencing, asking you all to go back and watch. In that video, when Simon responded, accusing these two of cheating, Jalen clap back with this text right here in December 2020 Simon telling him that he's a nice person and that he had absolutely nothing to do with the reason why their marriage didn't work out and all of that okay you send him this text in December you filed for divorce in January because in December it was over so if this is the man that cheated with your wife you will not be texting him in December that he's an amazing person and telling him his family members are amazing too and that you are done and filing for divorce in a few weeks. This is not the type of message he would have received. You would have been blasting him, threatening to cut his head off. Maybe not through text <laughs> because you can show that evidence to the police. But I'm just saying, you won't be telling this man how amazing he is. Now, for those of you who might say, maybe he find out later. When you find out later, your soon to be ex-wife was sleeping, cheating with, and is now pregnant with the help, which is what he calls Jalen, who is not a help. He has a great job. Watch that video. You will hear all about it. You are not referring to your ex-wife as the love of your life. Someone who cheated on you with a guy you considered your son, your brother, your family, the man you allowed to babysit your kids, to sleep in your house, to be there when you were out of town to look after your family. Then your wife turned around and slept with him, cheated on you. That's your story. I don't care. Ain't no man. Okay? Texting that same woman, I can't stand by and watch the love of my life leave. Let's read the messages. Because yes, Fallon clapped back too. Because of course, people dragged her in it, calling her a cheater and all of that, jumping on his story. And Fallon said, okay, no more protecting Simon. I'm going to drop these messages. Okay, so Fallon posted how it started. December 19. Good morning. I'm off to play golf for an hour or to clear my head. But I want to have a conversation today about moving forward. I will be moving out today to give our attorneys time to figure out what is best for us. I will work with you to make sure the kids are not traumatized by our decision to go our separate ways. I know we tried and gave it our best. I am proud of how far we have come. 
individually but i understand that does not always mean we are good for each other let's talk when i get back okay how it started december april 14 2021 you are only a few weeks away of your new fiance portia williams posting how madly the both of you are in love we fell madly in love in a month lies we already know portia lies so we don't even have to prove any of that we know Fallon, there is a good chance i will not be here tomorrow for the rest of the week i cannot watch while the love of my life moves out of a home we had hoped to live in for the rest of my life that would be too hard to bear why now i understand relationships not working two people loving each other but understanding they're not good for each other and so they have to go their separate ways this is what happens when a relationship ends on a positive note because finally said they were going to separation counseling or whatever how do you deal with you know going through a divorce and navigate through that process in a positive way where things doesn't get ugly especially when children are involved no they're not his biological kids but after almost five years those children became attached okay so this is what they were practicing right here they were showing that therapy worked a little bit you cheated on me i'm not giving you this type of energy what am i not bearing matter of fact get the out of my house don't talk to me ever again kick rocks with open toes shoes you know what i'm saying that list goes on and on <laughs> you are so angry that any type of love it's a wrap at this point it's over like you're the last person i want to see or talk to not know i can't bear what you can't bear see me move out of the house your energy would be get the bleep out of my house you dot 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 now i can't bear to watch the love of my life leave the house all the while calling portia williams the love of your life when the two of you didn't even have that type of time for her to even reach that status but you're so desperate thinking about the hurt filing when she's not even tripping about you she's moved on with her life i told you simon and portia a social media seeking validation couple they can pretend all they want leaving comments and i love you and this and the third you know the verbal dragging life and portia williams saw this text message and saw i cannot bear the love of my life you know they had a conversation but where's she going and where he's going they ain't going nowhere at least not right now he continued I also would like to add that in my reflection on the last four years and eight months, he is so petty. I'm not going to say five years. I'm not giving you that. It was four years, eight months. <laughs> the connections to your childhood always seems to bring you bad energy and reignite your traumas. If I was to make a suggestion, basically in summary, stay away from your mom, your brother, and your sister. Basically stay away from your entire family because they have bad spirits and energy. They are the common denominator. Oh, favorite word for you, Simon. You are about to be on your fourth wife. This is your fourth marriage. Common denominator. You and your fiance, that word is anywhere that have common denominator Portia is Simon name should be right there because Portia when it comes to the fighting and everything else who's the common denominator Portia Williams that should be our word each time things went wrong for us don't get me wrong I'm not going to sit here in front yes it is possible for family members to be toxic it is possible for them to not be good for you and all of that. But according to Fallon, it's the complete opposite. Her family is amazing to her, especially her mother. But this is what a controlling and a narcissist, this is what they do. They keep you away from your friends and family. They tell you not to work so that they control the money because when you don't have your own income, they feel like you can't just get up and leave. 
But according to him, Polly is a good catch and she's worth a lot. She could get up and leave if she wanted to. But this is what they do. They take those powers and luxuries away from you and isolate you and make you feel like you only need them. And then you will have those who ask the question, well, if that's the case, then Jalen is her best friend. And at that time was only her friend. He was around. So that doesn't mean Simon was trying to keep her away. Uh, Jalen was an employee. <laughs> he was providing a service. Okay. I know there's a joke in there. Well, he was providing more than one services. No, they were doing nothing at that time. He was an employee. And that was that. So if you work for the family, of course, you're going to be around the family. Now, if you're trying to tell me to not speak to my entire family, who do you think I'm going to speak to and become close to? Exactly. Another adult and human being that is there next to us. And Jalen was in the picture. And so that also helped them become best friends and close. For the people saying, well, these messages made Simon look amazing because he's not cursing, he's not mad, he's calling her the love, the love of his life. That's the whole point. There's no way I cheated on you with your assistant, with our assistant. There's no way I did that to you and you found that out. But you are referring to me as the love of your life and you're so in love with me and still in love with me that you won't be able to bear to see me walk out of your life. When someone hurt you like that, all that love turn into hate and you go on the war path. And so this is fouling point. No, we did not cheat. I know when I'm passionate about a subject and I have an accent, I pronounce every syllable. So forgive me with the emphasis on child, his child, her child. <laughs> I just realized I've been heavily pronouncing the word child. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> but anyways, and for those of you who can't see the black little square message on the bottom, Fowling basically wrote, does this sounds like it's coming from a husband who has been cheated on for a year? Get the bleep out of here. Oh, and FYI, she listed that, you know, the names listed are her brother, her sister, and of course, her mom. He always tried to keep me from my family. If you allegedly found out later on while with Portia that Fallon and Jillian were cheating, You've already moved on. So why are you hurt? You're only hurt because you're still in love. And Portia Williams was your rebound and your meal ticket to fame. Because Fallon didn't want you. And if Fallon wanted you, Portia Williams would not be in the picture right now. Because you have to remember, in December, Portia Williams was still taking family pictures with Dennis. Live for you. Live for the Ruger by your shot for you. Right here, high for you. I'm as heavy as it. Divida, Benevin, Millions. Hmm, so special. Read the caption of Father's Love. Okay, this is Portia right here. My baby's so special. Merry Christmas. Come here. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Oh, look at the family. Pilar is not having it, okay? Yep. There's Portia. All smiles. Oh. <laughs> family time. Oh, look at the family. <laughs> Pilar, Pilar wasn't having it. Look at her face. Hmm, so special. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. I Santa Claus. Santa Claus, PJ. <laughs> oh my goodness. Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness. PJ, oh, oh, oh. it's Santa Claus. Oh, oh, oh. 
Merry Christmas. Look at you. Okay, you for real, Daddy. Hi? <laughs> <laughs> She's still looking like, what is happening? <laughs> Come on, let's open some presents. <laughs> Put your beard back on. <laughs> PJ. Come on, let's open some gifts. You see Santa Claus? Oh, that's cute. Okay. Dennis even said that she asked for her ring back. So Portia and Simon was doing this back and forth thing, okay? One moment, Portia was all in. I'm ready to move on with you. Simon doing the whole yo-yo thing. I still want my wife. I think I still love my wife. He goes back to his wife. Portia then goes back to Dennis, wants her ring back, start doing the whole family picture thing for Christmas, all of these different things, okay? Fallon says no to Simon. I don't want to be with you anymore. Simon is like, well, okay then. He runs back to Portia. Portia said, bleep that ring, Dennis. I don't need it no more. Not that he was giving it back to her anyways. And now here they are. It's very easy to piece together. So I'm not going to drag this video on any longer. That was Fallon response. Of course, it's all speculations, you know, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But I just feel like these three, four, whatever, had some back and forth situation going through. And that's why their dates are all over the place. But like I said, I'm over it. <laughs> oh, for the people who are not on social media, when I said the blue check, that's when you know someone is verified. Pay attention to Fallon responses. You see the blue check next to her name? Now pay attention to Simon responses. No blue check, okay? That's what I mean when I say he's working overtime to get that verification because in Instagram eyes, that's what the blue check is. It validates something. And with Portia and her man being people who seek validation, that blue check means everything to him. And he's working overtime for it so that's what i meant i'm wishing all of them well like well for real peace all of that goodness Oof. anyways i'm wishing all of you well and take care and i hear my friend i love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless